I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann on Ola with City Script Study and Prayer Line. On his first day in November, time keep on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. Get your houses in order. You finna come get us? Kind of. Uh, uh, 11-1-2017. Uh, let's dive into the word, y'all. Let's go to Colossians. Um, okay. Um, Let me start at the uh, first verse, right? Colossians 2, and I'm going to start at the first verse. Look what it says. It says, uh, For I would that ye knew what great uh, conflict uh, I have for you and for them at Laodicea, and for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh that their hearts might be comforted, being knitted together in love, and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding, to the acknowledging of the mystery of Yah, and of the Father, and of the Mashiach, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And this I say, least any man should beguile you with enticing words, for though I be absent in the flesh, yet am I with you in the spirit, joying and beholding your order and your steadfastness of faith in the Mashiach. As ye have therefore received uh, the Mashiach, Yahusha, uh, the Adonai, so walk ye in him. Um... What is what is what is the salvation thing all about? What what is it really all about? Is it is it about oratorical skills, denominations, and different gangs, different sects, different uh, camps, different uh, you know cliques? What is what is this thing all about? What is, what is salvation really? What is the word talking about? What is the what is the what is the issue here? Is it the erection of like uh, different uh, restaurants for physical food? So now there's different erections of spiritual restaurants for spiritual food. Everyone serving the day way a different way, private interpretations. What is what is this all about? Choir rehearsal? Was it about choir rehearsal? Uh, bad musicians? How much these musicians are getting paid? What is what is this thing really about? Raised in church and you learn how to play instruments and then uh, you're one of the highest paid people in the building. It's a great musician. <clears throat> Folks can sing. Yahuda. Kidnapped. Think they Gentiles, but they still got the anointing of praise. Yahuda. The praisers can sing. Is it about all these different concerts that folks assemble? Primarily on Sundays, jam session, what they call praise break. Is that what they call it? What is this all about? One of the revelation, uh, uh, so-called church dispensation, ecclesia, uh, assembly dispensations, is Laodicea, uh, the ones that was, uh, you know, you know, lukewarm. 
an age where y'all was in a state of mind, and since you know how to code, I spit you out my mouth. The, the 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 assembly and dispensation where people think that yalliness is gain because you got a bunch of physical things, laptop and a nice car and cool house. You believe that uh, uh, yalliness is gain. Y'all balling, got a budget, you know, got a got a nursery or two, youth department. Flying around, carving turkeys. You're able to, you know, decorate the sanctuary for Halloween, something big like a theatrical type of event. You believe that everything is lovely. Call it on Jesus. Lay on the seer. <laughs> well, Saul was, you know, dealing with him, and and he 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 wanted them to be comforted, and he wanted to be comforted, knowing that they were knit together in love, you know, and he's ministering to them onto you know the assurance of having understanding, because the word teaches, and all you're getting get an understanding, and that's why I'm teaching this lesson in this form to. Get an understanding, asking what is this all about? Because if you have understanding, it will supply full assurance. You have confidence in Yah. If you, in all you're getting, get an understanding to the acknowledgement of the mystery of Yah, the Father and of the Messiah. It's the mystery, greatest the mystery of Yahliness. It was Yah that was manifested in the flesh. They go to the Son. As soon as He was manifested in the flesh, justified. Uh, in the in in the ruah in the, in the spirit scene of angels preach on to Gentiles believed on in the world and then receive back up into uh, kaba into what they call glory. In whom are hid all treasures of wisdom and knowledge? Did you know there's no one wiser than a child of Yah? There's no earthly wisdom that can compare to Yah and his children, what gives them a, 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 that level of wisdom is because the Ruah is baptized inside of them. Yah literally being inside of his children gives a wisdom and an understanding that supersedes the norm. I haven't seen, ear haven't heard, neither has it entered the heart of man the things which Yah has prepared for them that love him, but he has revealed them unto us by his rule. No comparison. Say the weakness of Yah is stronger than the wisdom of man. <laughs> and on his weakest day it ain't even it ain't even close. Us being believers and knowing the mystery, the natural mind cannot receive it. It's foolishness onto them. Neither can they know them because they're spiritually discerned, searching the scriptures for in them they think they have eternal life, and they error at even the little simple things. They just can't can't get it. They got to approach it from a man's wisdom standpoint. For I would that you knew what great conflict I, I have for you. For them at uh, Laodicea. He, he cared about those at Laodicea. He's addressing the Colossians. But he cared about those lukewarm folk too. For as many as have, have, have not seen my face in the flesh, that their hearts might be uh, comforted being knit together in love. Unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding to the acknowledgement of the mystery. It's a mystery to grasp this thing, to live this thing. It's a mystery to understand the Yah here. Acknowledgement of the mystery of Yah and of the Father and of the Mashiach. In whom are hid all the treasures. There is no wisdom and knowledge on the other side that didn't come from the Most High. 
in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge and now have been baptized inside of us. And this I say, least any man should beguile you through enticing words, a bunch of meaningless rhetoric, a bunch of religious stuff. We just don't need that. Adding to the word and taking away. Huh. Having their their, 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 their their hearts blinded. The, the God of this world has blinded the minds of them that believe not. Uh, not not everyone that says on to uh, him, Master, Master shall enter. They think calling on him and and saying they believe in him is it's really him. There's a new Messiah that renders the subjects of the new Messiah still blind, still carnal, still ruahless, even though they're convinced they have it. The nice guy, the nice girl syndrome, Casper the friendly ghost. Oh. And this I say, at least any man should beguile you through enticing words. You got to study to show yourself approved. You got to spend time in the word for yourself. Learning how to rightly divide the word of truth so that nobody can beguile you through rhetoric, talking loud and saying nothing, getting caught up in vain philosophies. <laughs> Shaul said, for, for though I be absent in the flesh, yet I'm with you in the spirit, joying and beholding your order and, and the steadfastness of your faith in the Mashiach. But here we go, y'all. As ye have therefore received the Mashiach, Yahusha, the Adonai, so walk ye in him. That's the part. People are super excited about saying they have received him. But the key is to walk in him. You have a lot of people going around saying, Master, Master. Well, the Messiah says, why are you calling me Master and do not the things I say? The key is not them that talk about it. It is not the hearer that's justified. It's the doer. And a lot of people get stuck right there. Now they're in search of a new Messiah that will excuse them. They'll use the fundamental examples of the word. They'll use the fact that he's loved. They'll use the fact that he died on the tree for the removal of sins, though their sins are not removed. They'll swing on the fact that he died on the tree to remove them. The removal of the sins is the repentance of them. They negate that part. Let's not be mystical and mysterious about it. The removal of the sins is that you confessed it and admitted it. You didn't cover them. You admitted it. You came clean. Then you forsook it. You stopped doing it. You repented. You turned from it. Folks are looking for the new snake. Gospel, you shall not surely die and pervert the truth of the word, the fact that blessed is the man to whom Yah will not impute sin. The word says that. David quoted it. Blessed is the man whom Yah will not impute sin. So they qualify themselves for that. Well, to be qualified for that, not for him to impute sin on you, means that you repented of the sin then he's able to take those sins and not impute them on you, hold you responsible for them, judge you for them, condemn you for them. Huh. There is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in the Messiah. You're in the Messiah 
who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. There was a who. There is therefore now no condemnation is what they're claiming. But who is the no condemnation really for? There is therefore now no condemnation that they are in the Mashiach. They stop right there. Long as I have accepted Jesus, I'm all right. Long as I've accepted Yahusha, I'm all right. Well, it said, there's therefore now no condemnation of them who are in the Mashiach, without question. But it's those that are in him who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Because the sin nature is in the flesh. Sin was condemned in the flesh that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. We're not under the law. We live by the righteousness of it. And the righteousness of the law is in the war. The righteousness comes from who said it, Yah, which is the Ruah. It's his righteousness. He just took you from under the, the, the law that's written on stone and now is written in your hearts. Not only is it written in your hearts, it's clarified. You now, and all you're getting are getting an understanding. And it's being fulfilled in your life through Yah, who baptized himself inside of you, leading and guiding you into all truth. Yeah, there's therefore now, now no condemnation to them that are in him. Without question. But it's the who. Walk not after the flesh. You still got a war to fight. You still got to mortify the deeds of the flesh, and mortify means to kill. You got to admit that Saul, the chief, when, uh, uh, he was he uh, Cephas was uh, named the chief apostle, but 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 Saul was bad, y'all. And he said, "When I would do good, evil is present." So the evil that was present in his flesh. Huh. He said, in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. That evil presence that was in his flesh, he had to kill it, mortify. He had to deny it. He said, I, uh, I admit that in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. <laughs> I, I want to I do the right thing, but that flesh has a whole other agenda. <laughs> so I have to kill it before it kill me. As he have therefore received the Messiah. He's your Adonai. They call it Lord. But it's your master. Well, your master, who is your master? Is he the word? Remember the word was made flesh and dwelt among us as we beheld his kabah as of the only begotten of the Father full of unmerited favor and truth? Is your Mashiach the word, the true and living word, not false doctrine? Not adding to it, not having a form of Yahweh that's denying the power, but do you have the true Mashiach? Because the Mashiach said it's going to be a false one coming. <laughs> it's going to come in his own name. He said, I come in my father's name and you won't receive me. If another should come in his own name, him, you're going to receive. He's going to have his own name, his own fame, his own agenda. He's going to tell you that once saved, always saved. He's going to sound like the snake. You shall not surely die. Because of me, you shall not surely die. Same thing the snake was offering Eve in the garden. Because of me, you shall not surely die. But the true Mashiach, the true Messiah, there's a requirement to have you have received him. Walk in him. In order for you to walk in him, you got to know who and what he is. Some folks is looking at the Messiah according to the flesh. This man, Christ Jesus, who saved me. Not knowing that the true Messiah, according to Second Corinthians 5 and and uh, what, 15, 16, uh, lets you know that uh, we don't know nobody after the flesh. And that we, even as we had known the Mashiach after the flesh, moving forward, henceforth, we know him no more. So when you look at him from a carnal standpoint, you look at that cross with that 
fake image of that guy hanging on there. You're looking at him tangible, carnal, from a carnal perspective. You believe that he existed and he died on a cross for you. And you confess it with your mouth. You believe that you're saved. But when you get the true revelation, it has nothing to do with that cross at all. Huh. Even the origin of that particular symbol is a little weird. But not even having to go that far with it. If you look at him from a physical standpoint, you missed the boat. Because the body of the Mashiach did his job and didn't uh, heap recognition upon himself in the flesh. That part represented man. That part was punished. That part was killed, so-called crucified, for the sins of mankind, bruised. He didn't come to be magnified, that body. What was being magnified is Yah that was inside of that body, reconciling the world back unto himself. The flesh died and was bruised by Yah, and it pleased Yah to, to beat that body down and then resurrect it because it never went against him. Death couldn't hold that body because it never sinned. That what was inside of that body can be in us. As you have therefore received the Mashiach, Yosha, the, 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 the Adonai, your master, right? Did you confess with your mouth that he's master of your life? Huh. Did you believe in your heart when you did it? Did you mean business or are you just talking? You're not the type that would draw an eye on him with your mouth, honor him with your lips, but your heart, your lifestyle, your dedication is far from him. Your willingness to suffer, deny yourself is far from him. Talking loud and saying nothing, surely you're a true believer. Come on, true believer. The word will save you. The word that was in that body, body gone now. He in 2 Corinthians 5 and 16, the bodies, we don't know him after the flesh no more. The body's gone. He was talking to the disciples in John 14. He let them know this body is going to get up out of here. So you're talking to the Ruah HaKadosh, but, but he's in this body now. But he shall be in you. I'm going to come back. I won't leave you orphans. I won't leave you comfortless. I will come to you. i got to first take this body off. i got to let it be killed on the tree. And then I'm going to raise it up. He said, you see this temple here? In three days, you tear it down. In three days, I'm going to tear it up. Say, in, in, you tear it down. In three days, I'm going to raise it back up. <laughs> he rose it back up and, 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 and allowed it to r r be risen up out of here. But then he came back without the body. The, new, the real reason why he came was to reacquaint us with the word, the word of Yah. That's what the gospel is all about. It's not about a big concert. It's not about your gang, your your set, your <laughs> your church. It's not about your camp. I beseech you by the name of Yahushua HaMashiach that you all speak the same thing. Forget your camp. Forget your 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 your, your church. Forget your your, your denomination. Your division. It's all about the one uh, 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 Messiah, <laughs> the Mashiach. It's all about uh, the one body. We're baptized into his body, and he is the head of the body. He's the head of the ecclesia. The word is the head of the ecclesia. The brain, the mind runs the body. He's the head where your brain is, where the thinking comes from, where the orders come from. There ain't nothing but one, one body. And we're called in the one hope of our calling. So as you have received the Mashiach, let the flesh go. Let yours go like he let his go. Let the flesh go. We used to know him after the body when well, he ain't here no more. Not physically in the body. <laughs> He's supposed to be baptized into our body. <laughs> If you abide in the word, the word abide in you. The word is supposed to be abiding in you. And we're supposed to be abiding in him. If we received him, we received the word. And the word came out of the mouth of Yah and will not return unto him void. We receive instruction from on high. 
He's the one that leads and guides us because we were bought with a price. He paid for us with his blood. He came down in the body and bought us, paid for our sins, claimed us, rose again with all power, and came back now that we have relationship. We're not under carnal commandments. We're not under the law. We're not under feasts and festivals and new moons. We're under the influence of the meaning. And all our getting, we now have an understanding. that We should be living the Passover and the ephod. We should be living the new moons and the festivals. We should be waiting on him. We should know the timetable of when he's coming to get us. When the chauffeur uh, is, when the, when, when the truck sound, we out of here like last year. We're not running around here trying to find spotless lambs and, 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 try, and try and get back to Jerusalem for the next festival. And, and uh, all these carnal rituals and all thy getting, get an understanding. As you have therefore received the Mashiach, have you received him? If you did, he wasn't standing there looking at you. Because if he was, it was a f- imposter. It was a, a, a f- it was fake. It, don't go for it. <laughs> As you have therefore received the Messiah, the Messiah. He stood at the door and knocked. Somebody came and brought you the gospel. Is how he came and stood at the door and knocked. You heard the word. It was presented to you. He stood at the door and knocked. The word is standing at the door and knocked when he used someone to come witness to you. We have this treasure in earthen vessels. An earthen vessel walked up to you. Partner, buddy, stranger, mama, daddy. An earthen vessel that had the treasure. The treasure is the word in them, and they spoke the gospel to you. It stood at the door and knocked. It's not forcing you to believe. For Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He stood at the door and knocked. Did you believe the word? You heard the word? Did you open, let him in? Did he come in? As ye have therefore received the Mashiach, Yahushua, the Adonai, did you receive the word? If you receive the Messiah, get that body and that cross out your head, Fred. Get that carnal stuff out of your head. The Messiah, the Mashiach, is the word, the Savior. The word came to rescue you. The word is going out of Yah's mouth. The Father spoke the word. And the word came to save you. The same word that condemned mankind because of Adam and Eve, the relationship that the word had with Adam and Eve, condemn mankind because they went against it. That same word came. Did you receive it? And did you believe it? As you therefore have received the Mashiach, the word, so walk in him. So walk in the word. The footsteps of the righteous are ordered by the word, by Yah. Have you received it? You shall know every tree by the fruit it bear by what it do. Have you received them? You shall know every tree by their doctrine. Coupled with their lifestyle. He's the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by him. You cannot have a relationship with the Father but through the word. Because he is the word. As you have therefore received the Mashiach, Yahushua, our Adonai. So walk in him. Spirit of the living Yah, we love you and thank you for the gleaning in your word. Uh, the sermon that on this morning, we pray that the word fell down uh, in the good ground into your children's heart, uh, springing up an everlasting life. Give us the heart and the mind to govern ourselves accordingly so that we have accepted you. Uh, we'll walk in you. Save us to the other most, even from uh, the wrath to come. We trust and believe that is done in the marvelous name of Yahushua Hamashiach. Yes, we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all.